So, hello and welcome back to another episode of episode 4. We are of course playing with the Amber Fantasy mod, SCL and Vire. As we are giving Ark Ortston a little bit of love. While well, they are also giving us a little bit of love. Share and share alike. But no, we are currently getting some work done. Because we have found an, ourselves a little bit of an opportunity. Of them having not much around. Uh, something else that I could do? I mean, I guess I could drop this, because I know that these guys will not be vassalized. I'm gonna actually start doing exactly this thing on you. And also make sure that you are not getting surprised. Any more than you already are. Because they're currently reinforcing with an army. I just fought like adventurous wounded and then there's just the goblins uh, show up. Uh, not sure why we would need adventurous for that. <laughs> okay, so there is an army here, but we do have two armies arriving as well, so that should even out the numbers. And I don't need drops anyway, so this means that you guys are not having fun. That is not enough yet, though. So, and you guys come over here. Ah, too late! Our god's done, too late! Little too late. So, let's get you guys over here, just to protect this stuff as well. They do have still substantial armies, but... I have more, so... <laughs> as simple as that. Uh, while we're at it, let's hand out some of this cute stuff. Cathedral in Pixieburg. Oh, Pixiebury, sorry, not Pixieburg. You are getting. Okay, yeah. Just one more. And you are 666. Uh, we have done this one. Now we just basically need to wait for this last occupation to drop to on Ayrantvia. Let's make them suffer a bit. I feel like everyone deserves that. I guess, once again, this has not changed yet. Trading in Mithril gets handed out. <laughs> to whoever needs it. <laughs> okay, where can I go to that? Oh. Oh. Why can you guys sit here but not me? Oh well, whatever. Ernad Vier. You have lost another hold. That should be enough to say, hey, this is not cool. Otherwise, I don't really care, to be honest. You're not my rival. Give me money. So. Uh, next target being probably you. Let's position some armies around. You are not small enough for... Wait a sec. You are not small enough for half, right? No. With that in mind... I mean, I'm gonna spend some Diplo here soon. Let's wait a month. So this one we wanted. This was the initial reason why we did that. But now we have the opportunity... ...to do this. This one we need to hand over to... Uh, ...Gobodad right away. Gobodad. Gobodad and Gobodad. I'm just checking how much I even could do there, when I wanted to do this. Before the world screams at me. Because this is kind of what I wanted, and this is not much, right? Would involve Ebertil and Shattered Crown again, but nothing more. But that still makes you too large to vassalize. Right? By far. So what if I just go crazy? <laughs> what if I just do that? What if I just go a bit insane? Or rather, no, actually, wait a second. Oh, we, we can't reach that, can we? Nah, goddammit. I just kind of wanted to protect them from Byzantus, but... I guess... This might be the faster choice, but this is still not quite... Well, you know what, let's, let's see. No, wait, if I give it to Gobodat, I'm gonna have to take it back again, yeah. 
Either way, it would be shit. Let's quickly check this one again. 106. That don't that doesn't really involve anybody new. This is still the say uh, the the same guys. So I would be willing to do that. All right, sure. So, go about that. Well, we have you here. You can have this. And you can have this. So. You guys position yourselves around a little bit. I'm gonna not court this. Because I want to hand over, but then it's overextended. Need to wait for these guys to core it. Alright. Yeah. Hmm. Where, where even are these guys? Well, let's just let's just have that. I mean, this is no this is no overextension, so that's good. You're now down to uh, 167. That's still too much for vassalization, obviously. But yeah, we are still doing the right stuff here. This is all outside of the forest. All of it. <coughs> okay, if it's no overextension, I don't care about it, to be honest. Let them be overextended. Let them eat cake. Still have so much territory to actually to give out. Have any supply increase in the future? Six techs, we have a supply increase? Cool. <laughs> Points. What do I need with more money? You already see what kind of uh, stuff is around. We're of course gonna do this on you. This. Anything else? I'll oh, see, there's plenty more. I mean, we do have technically this water stuff now. Okay. <laughs> we do have it, yes. Most certainly we do. I mean, these forts here, I guess I'll keep them around. Uh, doesn't really matter, does it? Let's make the dwarves happier. <coughs> so you are still in the coalition against us. It's a rather small coalition, to be honest. Ebert Hill, Argo uh, uh, of the Lodum, and Shattered Crown. I guess Adhanen is also part of it, but... What does that what does that matter? I've got myself a decent ally here. We're best friends forever. Maybe one of them got stronger. That could be a thing. Uh you guys of course make that and that work. Uh I'm alright with this corruption. I guess something that I've not done at all is actually this. Just to make sure that corruption leaves. That they are so kind. Stuff I know they... Don't mind if I do. Overtill has nothing to do with this. They're technically also already down, so it's just a matter of time until this drops. This is exactly what I was worried about. N not the council, this one here. But maybe... Maybe they leave them weak enough so that we can just take them over as a vessel. That could also be happening. We can keep an eye open here if uh, Byzantus is willing to even join. We have a... I think I'm actually alright with starting this fight as soon as the coalition breaks apart again. I gotta admit. <coughs> How are we looking on the development, my friends? 190. There is plenty more to come. And it was 25% with the marchers for efficiency. 
This is my manpower, yeah, we're not doing that. I don't have that manpower. <laughs> uh, we have Castellirian. Guess I could do that. Cryless Cryer. Yeah. That does... Oh! Well... I <laughs> don't mind if I do. <laughs> Lovely. Big fan of that. I would need two more objectives fulfilled to actually get this one. A shame, a shame, a shame. Let's continue on here. Oh, there's also a new debate. I love debating. So... Universities. Alright, what, what do we have to say? Nonsense. More nonsense. 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 Aha. There we have a conversion again. And still these available. I like how it's nice to have these choices, but I'm not gonna do that at the moment. <laughs> uh, nope. Nope. The inflation doesn't hurt. Grand titles again. So. That keeps that still active. Yeah. You're still all delighted. Now, well, but we are getting somewhere. We also have this. And I think that's definitely something that we want to do. We might as well just finish that. This does have... Yeah, man... Ooh, okay, yeah, we're definitely doing that. There is no question about that. I mean, manpower recovery speed, the early army tradition, prestige. Don't mind if I do. Oh, we can also have another army as well. Let's actually get you outside. Maybe then we don't have too much stuff happening inside. We'll see. For now, let's do this. <coughs> yeah, you guys should easily win this. I would be surprised if you don't. Diamond Separatists. You ain't separating anywhere, Diamonds. Now we're definitely on the produced side. Yep. Yeah. Definitely. Let's give you a general as well. There we go. That's the kind of stuff I want to see. And we have more Diplo points to spend. This is now really gonna push my production somewhere. We're also slowly but surely uh, fixing this leak here, which should fix our in uh, trade income. Of course, there's still plenty more to do. Don't get me wrong, but... <coughs> We are getting somewhere. That's the important thing. <laughs> Could you just take the Mithril Arm Cartel? Could you just take them? Is that so difficult to do to just take a free free process? <laughs> oh, restore Corveld. Uh that's imme that immediately turns into a level three center of trade. Oh that's nice. That's also gonna be quite good. I mean it's already on twenty one development, so yeah sure. Let's see, what do we want here? Paper, glass, glove. Or just what it already has. It currently has copper. Uh, cloth would be... Let me just quickly check. That's not cloth. Oh, there's cloth. 4, 8. That is quite substantial. What about glass? Uh, there we go. 4, 2. Paper, I think, currently does, is, does not have its value. Yep, cloth. Easily cloth. Even more development cost reduction as well. And it has a, le it's a level 3 center of trade. That should fix some stuff. I mean, I have technically no reason to not just collect in these places. I mean, the Dormant Rod is pushing. Yeah, Dunder's also pushing. Yeah, okay, well, that's. It's alright. That has significantly uh, increased that. This should be done. We, of course, are not going to do anything here. That's silly. I'm still waiting for the stupid coalition to break apart. Is Shattered Crown now strong enough to... Uh, I mean, I guess Shattered Crown is fairly 
substantial. And the next supply is gonna be a little bit away. The game is also getting somewhat laggy. I mean, I know why. <laughs> What's that? You guys, this, yeah, this looks very consolidated. <coughs> Nothing to change about that. Who the hell is this? Why are you involved in this? Oh, you joined that war. I see. And now you get... Okay. Not sure how uh, useful that will be for you. But hey, do what you need to do. I don't judge. And we'll see if we are gonna, how big we're gonna make these guys. You're digging again for the next level. <coughs> so, oh, separatists. Just a second. I have other things to do. So, there's more. I think otherwise, pretty much done. Universities. In all of these new places. First of all, you deal with this. And then we are gonna spend that. So... Make it work. Crown land is also nearly done. We're also going towards the last step here. So, you took a dis- The fuck? <laughs> okay, sure. I mean, these guys are now small enough. Let me just quickly uh, throw a claim on you then. That's just that's just goofy. Yeah, let let Odia take charge here. Do I just throw them out? I I I, it's, I guess yeah. <laughs> Okay, it was a long night, longer than usual. At first a new inmate wouldn't shut up, no matter what me and my fellows did. The Cadesti bastard would scream and beg us for freedom for his life and well, we thought not of it at first. Just a rude getting used to the rot the, as they do. After some time, at least a few hours, I reckon the screaming stopped and I thought, well, that new inmate had enough of it and fell asleep, good for him. So I let my eyes close down for a, minute, for, for a few minutes. Next thing I knew, there was screaming again. I got up to look, but this time it wasn't the, that Cadesti. I could tell it was my pal patrolling the dungeons, so rushed to see what in the name of all hells could be going on, since he never spooked easy none. I found him flat on his ass, pointing at a prison cell with the new bloke, arm shaking, trying to say something, but only making chattering sounds. So I grabbed my cudgel and went closer to look. And what I saw, the Cadesti, the traveler was rotting. Same lad was alive and whole just a few hours back, and now he was a bloated corpse, looked like a gang gangrene. More foul than the fires of hell. His jaw was off, his throat out. Sorry for the graphic description, but it's still with me. His mouth and throat had fallen off. The re I reckon that's why the screaming stopped. I'd never seen anything like it. Something had rotted away at the poor bastard's body and soul decaying him. I still see it when I close my eyes. I took the blood body out, we buried it. Poor bastard, at least now he's got a final resting place. From the journal of the prison warden of Forkwich, uh, Fork following the Cadesti incident of 1667. Cool, cool! <coughs> so we now know that as well. <laughs> uh, we still have... <laughs> let me just quickly ca not care about this and uh, move on. We still have these guys to take. I guess I could also definitely now... Uh, Oh, Jesus Christ, I actually have space, so oh, let's, let's do this. Swap Stoke, Alden Hall, Outvegard, Driffin Pier. This is all outside, I don't like it. 
Who would have thought that diving up uh, some nice stuff inside, uh, so some nice forest is gonna be costly? Crazy. <coughs> so either way, we this truce here is over as far as I remember. I mean, we can do the claim. But the coalition is still there. Maybe we have to wait for the... Uh, for you guys to drop the Shattered Crown. They are still my rival. Mm, but this is, this is gonna take a while. Unless I pop potentially reload. But we do only have 10 minutes left, so... Let's get somewhere. It's also after like all of these guys that I would attack now are part of the coalition. Most of them, at least. How is the conversion stuff looking? We're still pretty heavy. How is the conversion stuff over here looking? You guys. Still a lot to manage, but definitely looking better. Good stuff. You're filling this stuff in now. <coughs> Interleander is massive. Not gonna lie. Oh. I had Dumpsteer. A uh, Damesteer. I will pronounce it correctly from now Or try to pronounce it correctly from now on. But I will not promise anything that I just randomly go back to uh, the way I pronounce it. Just for the sake of it. Nostalgia, let's call it that. <laughs> so, of course, no rooms open up. So... Just what universities again. <coughs> I mean, there should not be all uh, a target. Oh, there we go. Something new. Throughout all of Kano, if there's one thing that can be agreed upon, it is never blindly accept a, sat a Satyr's party. There are few things one can witness that are so debased and debaucherous as Satyr's when they cut loose. Luckily, such affairs are usually local events and rarely disrupt life across Sirdan Var. It is for that reason that the recent rumors about the various Satyr communities within Sirdan Var are preparing something special, has led to some alarm to those close to the Sirdan Nasai. These rumors have it that some within the Sailor Court itself are sponsoring something called the Satyr Ring. <laughs> a volatile storm of boozing, feasting, and impromptu inti intimate relations. Simply put, it will be a party to remember, assuming anyone can remember it. It will also leave us with a mess that may take us years to clean up, whether that is worth it is the question. We can do Let's Do Party, which do slightly improve and slightly... Uh, or we can say No, which is just gonna do the opposite. Let's party, shall we? <coughs> See, Bountiful Harvest right after. It was a good idea. <laughs> Just keep my eye on the, t uh, on the time traveling and how fast it is. But yeah, that, that just the sheer amount of events added is a mission tree itself, I feel like. We do have a lot of nonsense still to deal with. You guys are still not converting any of your stuff. I guess I could... I mean, I think if I click this, they uh, might try. My vessels do take a moment to get this stuff done. This is also far away from, yeah, from the next step. Why am I not drilling? Not sure why. Still not drilling, but I'm, so, I'm also not sure why. <laughs> we have some OD separatists popping up. Yeah, all of you guys are getting replaced. So I just, I mean, I did not want much here, right? But I might as well take more. Get like a long dis at least. Corinthia is currently skistness, yeah, you know what. Let's get this started on you. 
uh, points are once again high up. Jesus Christ, these, oh, these are the new universities provinces. We don't get a bonus towards having anything up in the forest. So they're sadly enough going to be left behind. <coughs> but this is looking alright. We do still have some... Uh, I mean, I guess I could accept a few more of these. So absolutism is cleaning up to make my armies a bit more effective. I feel like I also should probably catch up on this stuff. Yeah, sure. We're, we're gonna lose a uh, uh, naval uh, force limit after we have... Uh, I mean, it depends what I'm gonna do. I might just be that I'm gonna start giving them this territory here. Like maybe this state and this state instead of this one as well. We have trolls! <sighs> We're getting all kinds of, of messes here. I feel like the adventurous wanted stuff is a lot crazier this time. Just a bunch of guys being dudes. Uh, this is a military one. Movement speed, spinal word, dual reputation. Okay, no. Nothing that I need to replace here. Everything alright. You guys are slowly but let's actually... Okay, you're still ch uh, still trying with the governing capacity, but you're making a hell lot of a lot of money. L wait, wait a second. Do I want to do something here? So this one would give me a uh, land force limit and of course the more liberty desire. Treasure fleet. Missionaries. I would give them uh, missionary strength. could do this one, I think. Yeah, let's help them out a little bit. They still have a lot to convert. I could also do this. But I don't need it at the moment. Get your shit together, guys. I could have done this earlier, obviously, but... <laughs> that's not my job. I'm not getting paid for that. Now uh, it's gonna... Let's put a dude here, just to potentially immediately defeat an army. If it pops up. We don't have any other great projects that I'm missing, right? Hmm. Now I'm kind of really uh, 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 looking forward to maybe getting a uh, great project, great projects in the forest that might make life a little bit easier. Oh, be just because of fucking shattered crown. <laughs> That's the sole reason why these coalitions still are still up. You're attacking the chat? That should not be too difficult, right? Oh, it might be. I'm not helping you. Just to make it clear. So, let's make this also work. They seek protection. Ah. Just too many events for me to care. This is also still far away. A thousand. No reason to do any... I actually am surprised how quickly the consolidations happened around. Like, I feel like these larger nations formed really quickly. This time. We'll see how well these guys do. I mean, this is full. Lovely. Let's quickly get rid of these. Besantis is cleaning up around here, and we did lock them off from getting anything else inside. Don't tell me you're diving. Okay, now this actually went down. Good. Yes. 
You gain independence of Odia. You have once again allied to Sekdia, so I might lose them when I do this. I oh, know they still look like they don't want to. Odia itself is guaranteed by you, and you. <laughs> Great! <laughs> you're, guarant uh, you're guaranteeing them, but you're not gonna help out if they get attacked. Some might find that questionable. So be it. <coughs> Okay. Uh, goblins, we have happy enough now. No need to worry. But I guess I will. Oh, this is a good general. I will get. I guess I also end the episode here. So I go away, like subscribe, and on again. So I guess see you guys next episode. Bye.